Hey Scotty, I just reinstalled Fallout 3 with all of the freaking mods. Would you like to play with me? Ooh, that is much better. Yeah, I can put this down for a while. Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our Lazy Swim unboxing videos, a series where Scotty and I take the time to unbox products and read our cards while letting you know how good they are and if the product is truly worth your time and money. So grab your favorite drink, sit down, lay back and relax as we dive into this unboxing. I'm your host Vlad and this is Scotty. Thank you very much Scotty for that wonderful intro and today we're going to be diving into the collector booster box for the Fallout expansion. This is yet another one of those expansions expansions that well they didn't do any draft or anything like that they just did a commander's decks and also they did the collector booster for those who won the special editions and just like they did in doctor who so you don't have to buy the special collector decks you can just get the cards here and uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited for this one as usual we will dive in and have a look but before we do this is done in um, was printed in the uh, united states fabricate aux états unis which means that some of the cards could uh, not necessarily but very likely be pringled so just keep that in mind unlike the ravenica remastered one that was printed in japan and many others those tend to be a little less crinkly and of course every card stock is different and every print location has different things but we'll hope that this will not have too many Pringle cards. So without further ado, I'm going to go get the scissors because I completely did not forget about them and I'll be right back. Okie doke. So here we are with the trusted scissors and I hope you're enjoying this expansion. I hope you are having fun. Whenever you get this video, we are far behind on these videos. We understand we're not ahead of the curve. We're behind the curve, but that's because for the past three years, we've been hard at work at creating our own car marketplace that is exclusive it's sorry exclusive to the united kingdom so that is what we've been doing and uh, yeah for the past few months we've just been going live with that and it's taken up a lot of our work and time therefore that's why some of our things are delayed or post due but hopefully we'll get to it either way we hope you've enjoyed our videos thus far and that you keep supporting us and if you want to check because if you're in the uk or in general you want to check our website we'll leave a link in the description down below very friendly show the code uk so without further ado let's have a look at the collector boosters there are quite a few interesting choices in this one they decided to serialize some of the cards that i don't really think necessarily needed to be serialized they're they're cute i will say that the bubble heads are cute and i know why they did it because you know you have to collect all the bubble heads in the game of course i cut it but um oh and by the way why we do this is because we don't want to damage the cards and sometimes the collector boosts are just easier to open like this but apparently we did uh a kerfuffle here yeah I, I did decide to to serialize the bubble heads we'll see how it goes anyway we have the search foil making a return this is a search foil planes very beautiful if you like this tree and I am a fan of actual search for cards and we'll put these here we'll put these in the shot so you can check them out then we have uh is this backwards forwards I don't understand this is a rare okay we'll do the first one like this and then we'll figure out what the commons are so then we have Sierra Eddie and more uh, brown arcade ganon glowing one um do, 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 do. some oh this is okay so it is like that it's strange that they would put the rares as well in here i know they don't have a lot of uncommons that are new but it's interesting that they would put it here okay so that's done then we have the born less uh sorry the extended art mariposa military base extended art casualty of wars Extended our foil electro siphon stranded out foil temple of abandon yay and the model of excavator and the search foil and frame sanity and the search foil and then we have general enforcer uh which is search foil these are extended this is just normal search foil and then we have the pip version which are, are the ones that are going to be fun and these are the pip versions uh, this is watchful rat stack <laughs> i like this creature and then we have eyelids foil very very nice very different from the usual one then we have a junk and a robot token so yeah interesting enough what do you think about this 
pip treatment. There are some borderless cards and also in these packs there are borderless cards that you cannot find in the decks at all. So that choice I think was not a very nice one, but you know, again, they're trying to entice people to buy more of their product. Hey hope. Okay, next up we have a normal swamp, a captain of the watch, a cliff top retreat foil, Preston Garvey, thirst for knowledge, alpha death claw foil, and that's it. As usual, these cards feel so different from the ones in Belgium and the ones in Japan because they're different everywhere. And we have an extended version of the Broom Scrapper, Cliff Dove Retreat, Animal Friend Foil, the Hour of Reckoning in the Foil, the Struggle for Project Purity, Foil and Surge, Temple of Enlightenment, oh, yay, Foil and Extended Surge. And then we get Lily Bowen, a Surge, Foil, and then we get Synth Infiltrator in the Pip version and Screech scorch beast wow these are really really beautiful i like i think they they've captured quite well oh rad and soldier uh, they captured quite well the feeling of looking through a uh, pip i guess um that is truly a work of art that they did i believe and if you're a fan of the fallout series let me know how do you think did they translate the games and the lore of the games well enough or not i personally believe they did a fairly good job they tried to keep a lot of the themes alive and um yeah it looks really really good assault turn dominator carnal soul ring so that's a full soul ring in case you don't have some treasure vaults and then we get a screeching scorch beast and the did, did i actually put any any of the search foil here no so this is a search foil I like this one. This is actually a pretty good card. And then we have Nuka Nuke Launcher <laughs> in the extended art. Temple of Mystery in the standard. Liberty Prime, the extended foil. Temple of Malice, Mariposa Military Base, and the Extended Surge, a Symbol Legion in Extended Surge, uh, Power Armor in the Extended Surge, and there you go, one of the new Borderless Arts, which I love the Pip Art here, it's not the Pip Art as this one, it's the, the Pip, um, you know, overall follow art, the character as art, this is the Nuka Call of Enemy Machine, it's not one of the unique ones that you can get in here, you can get this one in the decks, but that is a very, very beautiful rendition so we'll put that there and then we have another washful stag and a treasure and a copy token foil so that's that's nice i wonder how many of these arts we will get these borderless ones it's going to be interesting very very nice if you're a fan of these of course and then the mountain search foil i really love the lands in search foil I, and, and i love the search foil treatment i think they're really really cool if you get those cards that you want for your deck in search foil oh my god you are set dr madison lee Delegate, Grim Reaper, the Pounding Dance, Mortuary Mine, and the Foil. Then we get Colonel Autumn and the Borderless, uh, sorry, in the Extended. Then we have Branching Evolution, Sierra, and Casualties of War, again back to back. The Pride Win, the Flagship, and Search Foil, the Solemn Simulacrum. Cultivate, okay, that's cute. And the Search Foil, why not? And then we get Prime Marler Queen, of course, in the Pip version, and the Frog Crawler. That's nice. It looks so beautiful. I really like this version. It feels like I'm playing a completely different game. Not, not gonna lie, it reminds me of the Mutant Chronicles, in a way, the way that they represented some of the cards here, the, the feel of it, anyway, especially because, you know, it had to do with mutants and post apocalyptic and all that. But yeah, I, th I think it's, it's very reminiscent of that. I wonder if anybody in the comments down below knows um well who's watching the video the mutant chronicles <sighs> i wonder how many of you were playing back then that was a game that i really really loved alongside magic the gathering with master then we get junk jet the sulfur falls okay i'll take the the check lands in uh the extended that why not thrill kill discipline the nesting grounds <laughs> and the nipton lottery the nesting grounds yet again and stolen strategy beautiful card uh security turn squadron oh <laughs> inventory management and what do we get and uh, food and a human soldier nice 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 so yeah i will say the thing is with this kind of you know pack suspension and all that and i will get into it at the end more i don't know that they're really worth it unless you're seriously a, a big collector right because the cars in and of itself that you might get 
um, you know, the S special versions, getting a whole box of it, I don't know if it's justified. And here we have a soldier, soldier info token. Then we have an island, a power fest, well, the vats, roadside, crush contraband in the search foil. Uh, which actually goes here and then we have the evolving wilds in foil of course and the junk town and the extended open the bolts extended arcane ganon scattered grooves again to return at some you know getting some of these cards is a bit underwhelming not not gonna lie uh it's just saying kind of underwhelming then we have veronica single combat in the search and ooh, rex i like rex pretty cool card and then we have vats in the pip version which is really really cool and then we have ruska the terror of point lookout in a foil pip version very very beautiful i have not looked i will say at the quan uh, the value of these cards i know some of them are worth more of course but yeah they're they are you know they're interesting to see and i think the the one they did here is if you love the theme if you love the theme you're gonna really enjoy opening them I, I believe anyway because yeah it's just very much that let's see what we got here another clue and rad i like the rad action foil okay then we have a planes in search foil liberty prime recharge in search and then we have the mirror in landscape cast hand of vengeance and then curie and branching evolution again sentinel Terror alliance biomass mutation such course divide again getting these lands in this treatment is a bit underwhelming lethal scheme that's nice and then we get rex yet again temple of milady our malady chaos warp and surge and then we get we get oh toxic sheep squat which is really really cool i really like this one and then we get West Tech Tyrant. All right, in foil, the giant. That's really, really nice. I'm gonna go through these cards for sure in the special versions after we're done because they're really, really, really beautiful. Hey, if it's not your style, then of course, then you don't have to worry about it. And then we got Forest, uh, Cake, Bow of Hoover Dam, Temple of Plenty, Irrigated Farmland, the Bull of Fly Swarm, which I think is really good in that deck. Drunk, well, just strong because he's brutish and panamonicon sean temple of alignment mora oh so for falls i'll take that i'll take that that's very very beautiful and search foil these lands are amazing mccready lamplight mayor and oh red storm that's nice that's actually really really good and you get to storm and proliferate i like that and dog meat oh that is so cool oh that is beautiful getting dog meat and the pip version and foil that is very very nice if you like this commander that is a cool version to have okay and i love that commander i really like it has a good companion game as well i prefer it actually over the human companions but that's that's just of course they did it to doom except for when it used to go into traps if i'm not mistaken but i don't remember if it was dog meat or another companion anyway uh tireless tracker foil that's always nice to have secure the way surge most fire valley Crush Contraband, The Vault, Megaton's Fate. Again, such a shame. If you had Megaton's blow up, or maybe that was your choice and you wanted it to have a blow up, then that's fine with me. Oh, Rebound Craig. Eddie, Open the Vaults. Oh, Harold and Bob. Austere Command and the Search Foil. Oh, Perception Bubble Head. So, this is the first Bubble Head that we have. This is in the Search Foil. Oh, Wasteland. Now, there you go. This is one of the unique ones that you can get in the collect your booster packs wasteland doesn't actually exist in any of the decks the special version of it i really really love it i really really like it and then we get ooh soul ring with the borderless version foil ah, that's nice i think this is gonna fetch a, a bit of a pretty penny a soul ring is one of the most popular cards of magic gathering so that's definitely something and i really 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 like it i love these versions i'm not gonna lie and that was a very good pack very very good pack so there we go we only have three more packs left and then we're done i do love these ones so much of course if you love the game you're gonna jump too thrill kill discipline 
Ooh, luck. Bubblehead, Temple of the False God, Assaultron, Contagion class, good card, and the right deck. And I think actually in the mutant one, it plays really well. Mutation advantage, Shutter Thicket. Oh, Mr. House. All right, so I don't see the point of why it is actually in that deck. Moss Fire Valley, Sierra in the Surge, Smoldering Marsh. That is okay. And then we have Cass. Su, 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 su. And oh, the Wise Mothman in this beautiful pit version. And Alpha Deathclaw also in the beautiful pit version. Very, very nice. Very nice. And a treasure. And Zombie Mutant. Very, very nice. I wonder if uh, these versions are worth a significant uh, more. Let me know if in the comments down below if we got really, really lucky. I'm just trying not to cut the cards here when I do this. So <laughs> that's why I'm arranging. Yeah, I wonder if we got lucky or not. Doesn't matter. So beautiful to open these cards. Okay, we have another gorgeous mountain. Okay, Recon, Recon Craft, Recon, Recon, Recon Craft, <laughs> English. Wind, Brisk Heights, Kate, Mystic Monastery, which is so disappointing. Jason Bright, the Glowing Prophet, Nick Valentine, and the Extended, Cinderglade, and the Extended, Battle Hoover Dam, Basilisk Scholar, Sean, and Search for Fervent Challenge, very, very good card. In the Search for Powder Ganger. Ooh, Specimen 73, which is the Horny Queen. So as you can see here, some cards that have been added to, to um, the game, right, uh, have been named differently, but they are, you know, it's kind of like universes within, if I'm mistaken. That's the same principle. So you can see it's, it's, this is the Horny Queen. It's not a great, great card, but just like Ayula, it's just versions of cards that are played in general. This is Caesar. Okay, so we're getting all the commanders. I think we only miss the science commander in this version now. That's pretty cool. And yep, that's food and another token. So yeah, that's that's another cool version of things. So if you have, for example, I know the uh, um, Ayula is very, very loved and beloved by a lot of players. I, I actually got my butt handed to me by a bear deck with Ayula as a commander. And I was really happy about it because it was a really cool deck. You might love this kind of Neep. Okay, this is the last booster. Best of luck to us. Prairie Stream, Butter Ganger, Crimson Scavenger, and Steel Overseer. I like the card. Nestling Grounds, Ardesh, The Founder, Stolen Strategy, Strong Back. I like this card too. Black Market, in the Extended. I like this. I like this. This is going my Yama deck for sure. And then we have the, well, I'm going to put it aside before I forget. Green Reapers, the Sprint, Moss Fire Valley, Tainted Peak. Okay. And then we have Atomize. Okay. And ooh, Vandablast. Okay. This has yet another one of those cards. You can only find it here. And this is Foil. So that's the close. I mean, it's a very, very common, popular card for this game for Commander Vandablast. So why not? Okay. Let's have a look at what we got. Let's recap. So. These are the borderless or uh, alternate versions or whoever you want to ca classify it. Out of these, we got Vandablast and Wasteland, which are not in the main deck. And we got the Soul Ring and Nuka-Cola, Vending Machine. I love all of them. They're really, really cool. Then we got quite a bit of Search Foils and they do go a lot. I, I love the Search Foils and I will say so far, very good on the Pringling, no bends at all. And then we've got uh, Atomize, Caesar, and these are very, very nice cards. I wanted to say that we also have some of the cards that are not part of the main decks as well, but they're just reprints with, um, you know, universes within kind of things. So this is the Grave Titan, for example, which is a great, great card. And um, Gem Razor, which is okay. The Specimen 73, which is the Hor Hornet Queen, which is okay. Ayura is really, really good. So these are nice little reprints. Prince and then continue on. We have uh, Alpha Death Claw, the Wise Mothman, and Dog Meat. We got really lucky. We got all the commanders except for the Doctor in here. Then we have Rat Storm, which I think is gonna be a really good card in the right deck. And then Vance, Inventory Management, Securitron, Folk Crawler, which, oh, I forgot. This is Vigor. Okay, so Vigor, I did not see you. Oh, and also for the Hullbreaker Horror, that's a cool card that a lot of people love playing. And uh, I did not check, honestly, I, I was just going through the cards and I and I completely forgot. There's only one card that we got in the pip version that is 
also, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, just this one that is also search for. So that looks like it's gonna be the harder ones to get. And then the Screeching Beast, the Sith Infiltrator, Ionalyzed, and the Watchful Razdak yet again. So very, very beautiful. Now, is this product for you? Well, do you love this expansion a lot? And are you a huge fan of the Fallout universe? If so, and our collector, I would advise you to buy the boxes or at least a couple of boosters just for the fun of it. But realistically, because just like in every other commander set that has, well, just uh, the collector's boosters, because you get most of the cards that you need in the decks, what I would advise you to buy otherwise is just the single cards on your whatever platform you prefer. If, hey, if you're in the UK, you can come to Very Friendly Sharks and go to UK and buy them from us. Well, it's not from us, but from other players on our car marketplace. But either way, yeah, just buy them on your specific place because I think it's much more worth that way if you want, I don't know, the Vandablast or the Wasteland or so on and so forth, rather than chancing and opening. Of course, every time you open, it's randomized. So, and you also get a chance to open those serialized cards but I would keep it really for the ones who really love this expansion one. So I, that's my choice and that's my opinion. If you agree or disagree, let us know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, that was it from Scott and I. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it does help small channels like ours a lot. And until the next one and until the next expansion, we hope you have a lovely day, a blessed day. Be good, be kind, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.